brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the um, windshield and rear window washer pumps uh, on this 2003 uh, Outback. And it's a pretty easy process. The only tool you'll need, uh, well, you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench or a socket and ratchet, as well as a small and a large flat blade screwdriver. I see your washer reservoirs right here. Um, just due to where they are, they can sometimes crack from expansion and contraction, as well as a small fender bender can crack them. But there's just two 10 millimeter bolts right up here. I'll remove those. Okay, now before you pull it out of here, there are some cables and wires and stuff over here that you have to pull up and out of a little bracket that is part of the bottle. And then down here you can see there's two connectors. Okay, ideally you should just be able to kind of reach down in there, push on the side with your thumb and disconnect. But a lot of times that doesn't work. So what you can do is use a small flat blade screwdriver, put it right in here, okay, kind of pry this way, and then pull the connector up and off. It's kind of hard to do it with just one hand. Okay, so I'm kind of prying on the, the little tab on the connector, pull that one up and off. Okay, the other one, sometimes the screwdriver works, sometimes you just gotta get in there and really squeeze it with your hand. And pull it off. Okay, now you can start pulling the bottle up and out. Comes up some, as it comes up and out, there's a, your, one of your washer tubes is on the side below where those wires and cables hooked in. Okay, so now it's up and out. Now you can see I've got a nice clean catch pan right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist each tube. Okay, make sure it's nice and loose. Okay. I'm going to pull this one off. Just take my finger on it. Okay, pull this one off. And then put this in there. Obviously, if yours is broken, you're not going to have to worry about fluid leaking out. Okay, and you can see that the fluid's leaking right out of the pumps. Just leave it in there and let it drain out. Um, in terms of speed, you can also just undo that and pour all the water fluid right out. The use of a bigger screwdriver might work. And then you'll also want to take these rubber fittings out as well. Okay, put it back together. We'll put uh, the bushings right here. And the black pump with the green connector goes on the side. You just push it right in. And again, put that fitting or pushing in. And the white pump goes on this side. This hose, bring this hose up, plug it in, push this down and in, move those out of the way, make sure 
goes down right in there. Connect the green one, which is further inside that way. Then connect the natural color one. Okay. Bring your tube up and hook it into the side here. Below that hook. And put those down in, push that down in. Now I'm going to fast forward as I just start those two 10 millimeter bolts in up at the top and then tighten them up nice and firm. Okay, now I'm using a funnel with a strainer to refill it. You could also use a funnel and put a paper towel down. And I'm just going to put my fluid back in. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.